or vice versa. When nights are getting longer and lakes all freeze to ice, Mother Mouse wants strongly about a foul device. We must avoid the mouse trap, but there is not to fear. We'll all be celebrating at Christmas time this year. Hey, son, oh, hope, son, oh, valle, valle, da. Om jule kväll en dag ska alla samman vara glada. Sing along. Hey, son, oh, hope, son, oh, valle, valle, da. Om jule kväll en dag ska alla samman vara glada. The father mouse says that it's time to take a nap. Just dream about the Yule tide and not that awful trap. While Father Mouse is keeping watch, the children try to sleep. They hum some Christmas carols instead of counting sheep. Hey, D and Poo Doo and Poo Doo La Da Loo, a merry Christmas season is good for me and you. Hey, son, a hop, son, a ball, a ball, a ball, a mule, a quail, a dusk, a lamb, a salmon, a ball, a claw. Goo you, you! Oh, someone is very excited to say. All right, the song is over now. That's... <laughs> yes, that is how we say Merry Christmas in my country. Oh, that is very good. You look like you are afraid to commit. You can feel free to come on in and be in the shade over here. Do not be afraid. Or if they don't want to commit, you can just push on through and come right over here. You are more than everyone is more than welcome. Just see the people behind the fence. You can feel free to hop the fence and come right over. Uh, I am so excited today to tell you about Christmas in Norway. Now, all across Norway, the holidays are family time. But how you celebrate the holidays depends on whether you live in a big fancy, fancy city like me or on one of our wonderful Norwegian farms. Now in the city, families might spend time together going to concerts or festivals, church services or parties, and like many of you, they are visited by Santa Claus. But on our farms, many families still celebrate the tradition of the Christmas Misa. Now, uh, there are two. There is Julen Nissen, yes, who comes on Christmas Eve to leave the children gifts, and Fios Nissen, who lives in the hayloft of our barns. Uh, it's said that this Misa, this barn, Santa is one of our many wonderful yet strange little elves what? who are the guardians of our farm animals and welfare. And it is said that especially at Christmas time, we must treat this Nissa, this barn Santa, with respect. Mm -hmm. For if we do not, he is known to cause quite a bit of mischief every now and again. But, uh, well, I have lived on a farm my whole life, and in all of my Christmases, I have never seen him. <laughs> so all this talk about the barn Santa is neither here nor there. For we all know these mischief makers do not exist, except in stories and fairy tales. So all this talk about the barn Santa is neither here nor there. For we all know these mischief makers do not exist. Unless they do exist and are therefore very clever and mischievous indeed. <laughs> <laughs> now, it is said this barn Santa is a very old and rather odd looking little gnome. Well, that's right. not true. Right. Careful, right. Siri. I've got my eye on you. I want. Oh, what was that, sir? What? Did you? I thought I heard something. Oh, there we go with the Joan of Arc thing again. Oh my goodness. What was I saying? Oh, no. <laughs> oh that's so funny. I have lost my train of thought. <laughs> Allow me to take advantage of Sigrid's uh, dramatic pause to properly introduce myself. I am the legendary Vaughn Santa. <laughs> so, I don't exist, huh? Well, uh, you all see me, don't you? Yeah. Well, let's hear you all say a nice boo you. Boo you. Very nice, and it would be a boo you, but every Christmas has been the same. Sigri here doesn't see me because she doesn't believe that I exist, even when I do this. Boop. She still doesn't see me. Boop. <gasps> say, you all wouldn't mind if I take the liberty to use a little mischief and magic to help Sigri with her story. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this time she just might believe. Oh my. Oh. Uh, Ta-da! Ta uh, Christmas in Norway is my uh, favorite time of year. There are festive decorations, like those over there, and the uh, smell of holiday cookies wafts through the air in preparation for the big day. <laughs> but here is the best part. Uh, in we celebrate with the party. Oh, Siri. We like to party. We like to party. We like to party. Yay! Our biggest celebration day is on Christmas Eve. Now, in the middle of the day, party! <laughs> 12 o'clock or so, everything closes up early. The bells ring in the chapel. And 
bells ring in the chapel, and everyone returns home to their families. <laughs> Hello there. Hiya, what's your name? Piper, it is so nice to meet you. Piper, how did you? Because I took a cover and then you, are you the Flash? Super fast? No? You are just, you are the Flash. Piper the Flash, right? You're so great. Anyway, back on the farm. The farmer will give the animals an extra special treat. An extra big helping of the finest oats and barley. Good friends, imagine it's Christmas Eve. Hey, dee, and hoodoo, and toot da da loo The farmers bring the goodies for the animals. Ooh, you! He says, eat up there, little piggies. <gasps> And see, what sound do the hungry Norwegian piggies make? No, no! <laughs> Do it again! No, no! <laughs> okay, how about this? Uh, from Piper over, you'll all be my hungry Norwegian piggies, okay? So let's hear you all say a nice... No, no! no. Oh, you can do it louder than that. No, no. Even louder than that! No, no. Okay, that's enough. No. <laughs> oh, and Siri, what sound do the hungry Norwegian cows make? Ah. Very nice. Everyone else, you're my hungry Norwegian cows. Okay, so let's hear y'all say a nice. Ah. Ah. Oh, yeah, I heard a whole herd of you just there. That was pretty nice. All right, where are my piggies? Ah. And the cows? Ah. And the piggies? And the cows? Ah. And the piggies? And the cows? Ah. Oh, you know what? We'll keep this going. And Siri will think it's a far by Christmas Eve. Okay. Piggies and cows, really loud this time, and don't stop, okay? Here we go, piggies and cows, make some noise! Yes, yes, the farm animals are very hungry and noisy indeed, but you can stop now, please. A very good cow. Ha <laughs> Piper! That is a very good trick, ringing that bell again. Oh my goodness, Piper! Piper, can you say lump of coal? <laughs> Are you familiar? You know what that is, lump of coal? No? You might be soon. You might be soon. Don't worry. The coal never bothered me anyway. <laughs> so the farmer leaves the animals treats, but the, the children do not forget about the barn Santa. They leave him treats too! <laughs> That's right! They leave me treats too. A nice big bowl of rice porridge with a little bit of cinnamon and sugar and a nice pat of butter right on the top. <laughs> yeah, okay, well maybe it doesn't sound like such a treat to all of you in your blank stares, but believe me, when a kitty's leave me a nice steaming bowl of porridge in the hayloft, it warms me right up on a cold winter's night, and it's, uh, well, it's high in fiber, too, so that's nice. Oh. <laughs> You'll never guess what the barn Santa likes to eat. Go ahead, try to guess. Yes, right, pork, that's exact cinnamon. And butter. butter, and the butter on top. How did you all know? How did you know? Well, you know, we also leave him a big stein of ale. What? Stein drop? Oh. <laughs> she got it. <laughs> Never mind. Now, back on Christmas Eve, the family is getting ready for the celebration. Oh, hey, Piper, I can do it too. Huh? All right, it's lights out. The entire house is lit only by the soft glow of candlelight. And after a big feast, everyone is all excited, especially the children, because they know the Christmas tree is in the next room, and that's the moment they have all been waiting for. Oh, this is the best part. The parents finally say they can't drunk this. Is. Let's go into the next room. <gasps> and that's a great idea. Hey, Piper, come here. Over here, over here. Hey, back in the rail here. So they open up the door, right? And there's a Christmas tree. It's all decorated. There's presents underneath for everyone. You'd like a present, right? Yeah, you would here. Sit down right there. Very nice. Wow, you're a natural. Have you done this before? You've never sat down before? You're very good at it. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, how, there's a bale of hay. Do you want the bale of hay for your gift? Shake your head no. Of course you don't want a bale of hay. I know what you want, though. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Have you been good this whole year? You have? Well, that ends right now. Okay, ring this as hard as you can. There you go. Good <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, such wonderful and persistent bell ringing! <laughs> Thank you, Piper. You can everybody big round of applause for Piper. Everyone. Oh my goodness, Piper with the bell. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> so, the rest of the night is spent 
opening gifts and singing Christmas carols around the Christmas tree till very late at night, and that is all in Christmas Eve. But even though the children have opened up their presents on Christmas Eve, they still get up early on Christmas Day, yes? Now, sometimes the people go to church services, but though the rest of the day is with family, but we are not done yet. Because the day after Christmas in Norway, December 26th, is our second Christmas Day. Yay! That's the day for parties and visiting friends and ringing bells and playboard. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Oh my, everybody, what to do? Uh, Miss Seedry is almost at the end of her story, and well, she's almost at the end of her wits, too. <laughs> but she still doesn't see me. <gasps> so, I need magical help from all of you. Yes, I need you all, on the count of three, to say a really big boop to make her believe. Can we do that? Yeah. Oh, one. A two. A three. Well, all right. Oh, there you are. Uh, now you know all about the holidays on Norway's farms. Hmm. And sorry, it's worst of all about the whole gnome thing. He does not exist. He doesn't. It's you. It's him. The barn Santa. Goo <laughs> We did it, everyone. We made a believer out of the lovely secret after all. We'll see. What? Never mind. Well, I couldn't have done it without all your help. So I hereby dub you all honorary Christmas magic makers for the rest of the day. Bibbidi, bobbidi. Oh, that's right. <laughs> now I must be off to the hayloft. But before I go, kids, friends, remember to hold the values of Christmas. Be kind, spread joy, and support. And be good to your barn center throughout the new year. All right, Piper, one last time. Ring that bell. Yes. Good year. Thank you so much. I still hear it. Is that? Is that? Is that? Is that? You better answer it because it's for you. There you go. One more round of applause for Piper. Yeah.